Hey there gang, your Guitar Sage. Today we are going to learn how to play You Could Be Happy, and you can be, by the Snow Patrol. Why well, I sound like my grandmother there. By the Snow Patrol. By Snow Patrol. By the band Snow Patrol, not the Snow Patrol. Okay, so anyhow, here we go. Now, um, I'm going to play this. I just taught this to one of my students and they wanted to learn it without the capo. This is perfect because I get a lot of folks that will email me and say, well, can you please show this without a capo? I don't own a capo. And I say, well, you're going to have to learn a lot of bar chords. And some people are fine with that, some people aren't. So, perfect example. I'm going to try to teach this in our 10 minute mark here on, on both ways to play this, with a capo and without a capo, so that you can see for yourself just how easy it is with the capo and how difficult it is without it. So. Um, uh, th this is, there's no guitar in this song, so I do like a number of like uh, finger picking sort of things in it. Okay, the rest of it's going to be repeat, but you get the idea, okay? So let me go over the, um, the chords in this version without the capo, okay? So um, first off, um, for those of you that haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com, get this ebook. It will really help you a ton with everything that I'm talking about here, where, you, where some folks that have the ebook understand exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, for those of you that need a little bit more help, this book is going to fill in all the holes of the stuff I'm talking about here. It's 10 bucks, right? Spend that easily. Um, go get that. Okay, so here we go. So let's talk about the chords. Um, the song is in four, so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just playing block chords right now. I'm looking at my chart here, by the way, and let me mention that if you do get the ebook, then all these handwritten charts that I write for my students, you get. So you can see them and you can learn these songs a lot easier than just listening to me saying the chords and writing them down. Okay, so do it, go get it. All right, so here we go. So the first chord is an F. That's two beats. The second chord is a C slash E, which means you hold your C chord, but you let this E ring out. So a C slash E means a C chord in the, with an E in the bass. So that's an E in the bass. So here's your C. Here's it with an E in the bass. So got that. So you could be happy. and then a B flat major chord okay first finger goes here so this is where for all of you that say I want to play without the capo it's gauntlet time this is where you learn why we do it with the capo you can take this first finger you're gonna hyper extend it hyper extend it means you do that right there so you get that little curve backwards curve okay Lay that right there on the third fret so that these three notes are being played at the same time. You have to bend it enough so that this note is also played. So you're barring all five of these, meaning you're pressing down on all five of those. Third finger. That's your B flat. Yes. Something to cry home to mother about. It's really not very happy. Um, it's a very painful chord, so uh, if you're, you know, if you're not used to it, it's not like I'm being tortured here, but you get the idea. Okay, so then, so that's that, the intro and the outro are both that right there. F for two beats, C slash E for two beats, B flat major for two beats, okay? Now the verse is that same thing. You do that four times. That's two, three, four, you get it. Um, the second part of the verse goes 
G minor. Taking your first finger, you're barring all six strings. Fingers three and four are placed on the fourth and fifth string at the fifth fret. And so the chord's gonna look like this. It's gonna sound like that. Then it airs an A minor. You know that one, or you could play. It's a more full one, but but uh, barred. Okay, and then um, and then your B flat major again. Get it? Okay. We might have time to talk about like finger picking and stuff. Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. So here's why I take tunes and I capo them because you know bar chord, not a bar chord, bar chord, um, and then in that second part. Bar not a bar chord, bar chord. So basically we have four bar chords in here and if you're not used to it, um, you're going to have a hard time playing bar chords, right? Um, by the way, I'm entering this video into the Guinness Book of World Records to see how many times someone can say bar chord in a video. I think I'm winning. Okay, so bar chords, right? So here's why I love the capo and think it's so useful. Okay, so we take the chord F. Right? It can also be played up here. I'm sorry. Jeez. That's also an F. Here's an F in the bass. Here's an F in the bass. And this looks a lot like, exactly kids, a C chord, right? Walk it down, walk it down, walk it down. There's our C chord. Think about as if we were holding our finger right here where the, where the nut is. That's why I can slide this guy all the way up here. And that is an F. So any place I slide this, wherever that bass note is, that's the name of, that's the bass note. So here's an F, F sharp, G sharp, yada, 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 and so on. So that's my one chord or my tonic chord. Man, we're running out of time. We gotta go quick, kids. So that's my one chord. So I'm gonna play that like this. Okay, so you could be happy. Easier. This, has, this version has one bar chord. So we got C, G slash B, which if you just looked at my uh, Iggy Pop Passenger video, you'll that we just did this chord. Um, first finger here, pinky here. Don't play this low E. This is your bass notes right here. So it's like C, G slash B, F. So that's a bar chord, but you can play this one or this one. Which are not bar chords, so okay. Then for the second part, D minor, E minor, D minor. I'm not sure why I'm singing like Mariah Carey, um, but. Um, So D minor, E minor, F. Cool? See? Man, that's so much easier, right? Um, so again, here are the chords with the capo. C, G slash B, F. C, G slash B, F. Second part is D minor, E minor, F. Again, D minor, E minor, F. Okay? So, um, as far as finger picking, we got one minute, or about a minute and a half, so let me talk a little bit about finger picking. If I'm doing any sort of finger picking, I always hit my thumb, the bass note, I always take my thumb and I hit the bass note on the first beat of the chord when it's played. For instance, if you do that, anything else you do finger picking is going to sound fine, it's going to sound really good. So for instance, if I go... So actually when the chord changes, I should say, here we have like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So 
bottom line is when the chord changes, take your thumb and hit whatever the bass note is of the name of the chord. So if it's a C, hit a C. If it's a D, G slash B, hit a B. If it's an F, hit an F. Gotcha? And then whatever you do with these fingers is gravy. So you can do whatever you want if you want it to go. Go to yourguitarstage.com, get the ebook, keep practicing. See ya.